In this video, I want to show you how to use the showcase mockups in Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. I've got them here in Affinity Designer, but they work exactly the same in Affinity Photo. So when you look at your layers panel, you'll notice there's a fabric layer, a neck label layer, an art layer, a background color, and a heather layer, and a fabric color. So these are how you're going to adjust this template. So let's say the first thing you may want to do is add in your own art. So let's go to a graphic here from the Campout collection. I'm just going to copy that and I'll paste it into this add your art layer. I've expanded that layer group and we'll highlight the your art layer and just go command V and let's scale this and rotate it and orient it similar to the graphic that you see existing. And what we'll also need to do is turn off the visibility of the example graphic. So I think that's looking good. One thing I want to point out here is these templates have automatic displacement maps. So as you see, as I move the graphic over the shirt, especially in the text area, you see how it kind of rolls over the ripples in the shirt. That's going to add to the realism of how this mock-up looks. The other thing we have here, and I'll zoom in a bit, is the magic fabric texture layer that adds some transparent texture to your design. And if I turn it off, you see that texture goes away, but I think it looks great with it. So I'm going to leave that on. Uh, the next thing we may want to do is change the fabric color. So what we can do is just click on that fabric color layer. And let's say you wanted to change this to a black t-shirt. You won't go all the way to black. You go to about 80%. And then if you want to see more contrast in your fabric, just go up to your fabric shading levels, double click on that thumbnail there. And you can ramp up the black and maybe ramp down the white a little bit and that'll add to the contrast. But this text in the graphic isn't showing up well because it's dark on that black background. So let's maybe just go back to our fabric color change this to say like a medium blue. And I think that's looking really good. We can go back into our fabric shading levels, kind of readjust if that's too much contrast. Um, the other thing I want to show you is there's a Heather layer. So you can turn the visibility of that on and you can also go into your contrast adjustment here. If you want to really ramp up that Heather texture to make it look like a, uh, poly cotton or a tri blend tea, but I'm going to just turn off the visibility of that layer group. The next thing you may want to do is change out your neck label. So let's go to a label from a product called label kit, copy that. And I'm just going to paste it into the top of the template here. And what we need to do is scale it down. Now, whenever you're scaling a graphic that's got live text on a curve, you're gonna to wanna to use this bottom right handle here to scale it. Otherwise, it's gonna mess up the formatting of your text. And we also need to rotate it similar to the example. And then what we need to do is let's drag this layer group into the neck label group, say between the your neck label and the example graphic and that'll automatically clip it out. We'll turn off the visibility of the existing neck label, and we can also turn down the opacity of this neck label a bit. That'll help make it look a little more realistic. The final thing we can do is there's a little bit of background in the upper right corner and down here below the sleeve and in the very left corner showing. So if we wanna change that color, we can just click on that layer thumbnail and we could just change it to white or yellow or let's say orange to match the orange tint in the graphic. So that's it. That's how to mock up your designs in the showcase templates for Affinity. Thanks for watching.